hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Say hello as you come in. Whew. It's been a while. So tonight, um, I have a bunch of ornaments to make. Because I have a show coming up and I like almost sold out of all my ornaments that I was doing um, on Saturday. So say hi as you come in. I know it's been a while. Hey Kathy, how are you? It's been a long time, you guys. <laughs> <coughs> and I apologize because of course I got sick. So we're going to make some ornaments. The first ones we're going to do... Hello Karen from England. Welcome, welcome. We're going to do these um, hoop, hoop ones. And what I did... Hey Virginia hello from Car Canada is I made these on the Cricut I printed this out and so thank you so much for sharing 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 and then these are four inch hoops I know I have so many to do um, these are four inch hoops and then I just took the um, fabric and cut them to five inches hey Janet so and then I just ironed the different sayings on and so I thought I would show you guys how I do this. Hey Kate, sorry about last week. It was a little crazy with um, my sister-in-law passing away and then getting ready for the craft show and then I had to set up Thursday night and then it was Saturday and Sunday. And I know, isn't it pretty? I have the black and red. I have the green and then I have the, the white, different buffalo plaid ones. So we're going to do a couple of these and then I'm going to do, um, hey Julie, some other ornament stuff. So from the Cricut, the glitter ones. So here we go. All right. So what I do is I kind of center it on there and then I just put the hoop on top just like that. And if it looks good, I'm good. But this one doesn't. I want to bring it down a little bit. Thanks, Margaret. Yeah, it was a little crazy. I mean, she was pretty sick, so... I just want to bring this down just a little bit. That looks good. Hey Diane! And then just put that on. And then tighten it up. I tighten it up a little bit. And then I kind of make sure it's stretched out good. Hey Margie! Okay, and then I look at it again, looks good, and then I tighten it a little more. Oh, you know what? This is fabric, yes. I found this at Walmart. They had um, in the fabric section, um, I forget what it's called. Okay, so then I just cut a piece of this string. Oh, I'm going to cut it first. I'm going to take my little scissors. Yeah, I found it at um, Michael's. They have like a yard of fabric for like, I don't know, three bucks or something. And then you just trim off the excess and it makes a bunch of ornaments. So, hey Sandra, how are you? So, I like I said, I apologize. I was MIA last week, just so much going on. So, thanks for bearing with me. And then, like I said, of course I got sick, which is par for the course. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, it was... um. I mean, it was nice seeing everyone, you know, when you get to be our age, you, you only see people at funeral anymore. Hey, Pat. All right, so I do that, and then I just, I take a piece of this twine, kind of, fold it and just put a knot on the end, and I feed it through here. <laughs> and then just pull that, th whoops, pull that through real good. And then once I do that, I use these little pliers to kind of make sure it's really tight in there because you don't want that fabric to come out. So I just tighten it real good and I use these because it's kind of hard to grab onto. Hey Pat! So I just use these to kind of really get a nice grip on it and I really tighten them as much as it'll go. The show went pretty well. Um, you know, I think because I had different stuff at a lower price point, I sold a ton of ornaments. Like, I had 
I don't know how many of these, like 24 of these and I sold out and got more orders. And then I did a bunch of, um, I made bows. I made bows right there. And I, I think I sold 10 bows and then I got an order for 15. So I have to do those. Um, so it went really well. Okay, again, I'm just gonna kind of center it. And then put that on. But um, you, they're almost done. I know, Pat, you've done such a good job. So my sister Pat got the wreath making bug. <laughs> She's on here watching me all the time. So she bought all the stuff to make some. And uh, so now she's making them. So I'm so proud of her. She's doing great. So have you guys made any ornaments for Christmas? Or do you make your own ornaments for Christmas? But yeah, I sold... Um, no, I didn't cut the fabric on the Cricut. I just did the wording. I just measured them out. I cut them. I cut the fabric like an inch bigger than the hoops. I got these hoops off of Amazon. Um, they're four inch ones. Oh, you did? Yeah, I sold um, two candy canes. I sold... Now, you want to put this in before you... These, I sold these for $4 each or four for 15, four, eight, 12, no, yeah, or four for um, 12, that's what I did. So, yeah, I sold a bunch of these, I sold a ton of my glitter ornaments, which we're going to make some, not the glitter part, because that takes forever. Hey, Cindy, um, but I just thought, well, I have to make these, so I'll come on and show you guys how I make them. Okay. All right. Okay. So. All right. So you guys get the gist, but that's how I made those. I won't bore you with watching me make any more of those. Now. Oh, thank you, Bruno. I appreciate it. So now we're going to do the fun stuff. Okay. All right, so I have a bunch of those to make, but I will not bore you with those. So now we're going to do some of my glitter ornaments. Oh, I forgot to put the lids back on. Okay, so these, it's all over. <laughs> it does. So this is what you do. I take the polycrylic and I pour it in there, and then I put the glitter in. You want to use extra fine glitter, and then you just shake it up to kind of make sure that everything is covered really well. Okay, and then... Um, you let it dry. You have to let it dry because if you don't, when you put the lid back on, um, it'll scratch this stuff. So you want to make sure, and I forgot to put the lid back on these. Oh no, where are you moving to? So this is going to be a gingerbread man and a gingerbread woman. Oh boy, you got the bug too, Margie. Okay, so these are glass. I made some out of glass and some out of plastic. So these particular ones are glass. So what you want to do is you want to, oh, that's cool. I know. Aren't they fun? So you want to clean your ornament with out rubbing alcohol because you want to make sure you get all the fingerprints and everything off of it before you put the vinyl on. Okay, so you want to do that. Let that dry a little bit. And then I have two of the, what did I do with it? Okay, scrapers. And so I already put the tape on this. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do one so you guys can see it. And what I do as I do this is I press down with my scraper so that the design stays on the transfer paper. So then what you want to do is because it's round and it, it's just kind of difficult it doesn't it's not real easy and feathers flying everywhere you want to try to <coughs> you want to try and um, kind of cut some areas out so it's easier to do put on 
because round on round is not that easy. So I just kind of try to cut some areas out, just a little bit here and there. Okay, so then you want to get your design and kind of center it on your ornament. Okay, right now. And then you want to, and this is rather difficult, believe it or not, because you're putting around on there and sometimes it wants to move on you. Okay, so then you want to rub it down real good and then take the transfer paper off. Okay. Now if you have any little bubbles, you can kind of smooth them out. That went pretty well. Okay. So then this one, you're going to put it like a little bow here and the nose there. So then I was cutting feathers. <laughs> so I have feathers everywhere. So again, I'm going to do the same thing for the little nose here. Kind of rub it down. Oh, where are you going to move to? Alright, so then just take it. Kind of position it where you want it. I find it's easiest if you can to put them on piece by piece rather than like the whole thing at one time. I think it's easier to do rather than try um, try to put them on all at once. I, I um, sell them for $10 each and then if you want them um, personalized it's 12 And I'm telling you, I sold out this weekend, so that's why I'm like, I have a ton more to make. Alright, let's take that one. And then, just kind of put that where you want it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a lot of family here, so. Alright, and that one's done. There's a little gingerbread girl. Now we're going to do her brother, the gingerbread boy. Again, you want to clean it with the rubbing alcohol first to get all your fingerprints off, all the smudges so that everything adheres nice. Kind of let that dry a little bit. And then we're going to do this one. Okay, so again, you just kind of really want to press real good and then pick a corner up. And then what I do is I press down on this little scraper so that the design stays on the transfer paper. Okay, and then kind of try to cut. It really does help when you're applying it if you have little cuts on it. All right, so then we're going to do this one. And sometimes they don't go on as well, but well, so these are going on pretty good. Now I'm, I'll probably jinx myself since I said that. Okay. All right. Now even once you get that on, if you want to rip that. And then just try and rub it down. Um, now, I applied the glitter to the ornaments. Okay, so peel that off. Oh, the little eye didn't stick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did the design on the Cricut. Yep. Hey, Kathy. I know I've been MIA. Sorry, girl. I've, uh, <coughs> of course, I had that craft show this weekend, and then I got sick. So, what else is new? So, but yeah, the craft show was really good. I, uh, did a lot. Sold a lot. So, I was very happy with that. All right, kind of. 
position the nose. Hey Paula, how are you? There we go. Okay, then we're going to put this on. So have any of you guys made any of these? These are a lot of fun. I mean, there's definitely a learning curve to them. Um, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to put that right there. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Okay. Hello. Oops. How's it going? Siri thought I was talking to her. Okay, so there's the gingerbread boy and the gingerbread girl. Okay, so next I have a whole bunch to make with you guys, so I know they are fun to make. All right, so those are done. Let me put those to the side. Now we're going to do, uh-oh, where'd the noses go? I have the noses. Did I lose their noses? Let me see what I did with their noses. I thought I had everything put right here. darn you haven't made them yet oh they are fun what happened to the noses I know I did them I know I know I know all right well we'll move on to other ones for now so I can see about the noses all right okay. so we're going to do the dog mom one so the dog mom comes with those two things. Okay, so yeah, I put the I put the glitter in. Yep, you use polycrylic, and you coat the inside. Now this one's plastic; these were glass. Um, you put polycrylic in it, and then you um, pour the glitter in. You have to kind of let it sit a little bit. The, po the polycrylic till it's done draining and then you pour the glitter in and shake it and you want to make sure that everything got covered okay so again this is the dog mom one okay. like I said I try to trim it as best you can because you kind of want to and you see these, the M like that? So what I will do too is I'll put slits in it. <coughs> and okay. And then I put slits in between. You have to make sure you don't cut the letters in between the letters and it just really helps the words go on better okay and then once you get it where you want it you want to press real good so that it doesn't come off and then just peel it up Now, some people say do like the whole design, but I kind of like doing it in pieces because I think, oh, that one didn't stick real well. It helps to, um, I think it's easier when you do it in sections. There we go. And like I said, I personalize these, so I got a bunch of orders for these like putting a name on the back, all kinds of things. So, then I have the little dog paw. If you guys could spread the love, I would appreciate it. Okay, kind of position this where you want it. 
and you want to press really good kind of rub it on there real good and make sure it doesn't come off and there you go so there's the dog mom isn't that cute I love it um, I ordered these from Doris. it's a wholesale place um, but I did get some at the glass ones I got at AC Moore um, but problem is they're hard to find now all right so this one is a cat one it's meowy Christmas Again, you always want to clean that ornament to get all of your fingerprints and that kind of stuff off it yes I put the glitter in yep okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this part on first yes it says meowy Christmas okay so And like I said, I pre. Oops, that one. That one's missing a whisker. I have to add a whisker to that one. See how there's three on that side and two on that side. I'll add a whisker to that one. Okay, so then. I know it seems crazy, but it does help it to lay flat the kind of more um, cuts you put in it. It just makes it a whole lot easier. You want to put as many as you can in. Like I said, I'll have to print out another whisker. Put that on. <laughs> this side okay all right so then kind of want to lay that down get your whiskers in place get your ears in place and see how nice it lays when you do a lot of the cuts in it, you'll see some of the other ones are a little harder. Okay, and like I said, I like to do mine in pieces. I think it just works nicer. Oh boy. <laughs> so this one has a little heart for a nose. So we're gonna put that on. And we're going to put that right in between there. And again, you want to rub it real good. I know I haven't uh, these all these designs I bought off of Etsy because I am not um, a designer. I'm going to hopefully learn how to do that, but um, I haven't learned how to do that. So all of these designs I did purchase off of Etsy. So then you want to line this up kind of between the ears. And that says meowy. rub that on there real good and then there you go there's a meowy Christmas that'd be cute all right so those are done then okay 
So I printed some out on Cricut and they come out like this. So then you have to weed them. So I'm going to show you. And this is the Santa Cam one. So hopefully you guys can see this. So you kind of leave it on there as you're and you want to make sure that all your letters are coming out because sometimes they stick to paper. Okay, that looks good. <coughs> And you just kind of watch it as you're doing it because sometimes little pieces get stuck on there and don't want to come off. <coughs> all right, and then you need to weed out all these little pieces. And I kind of just keep the, the sticky that I took off of there, over there. And then you just weed it out. This one's pretty easy, so take all the parts that aren't supposed to be there. I did have a good sale. Yep, I sold um, I think seven or eight wreaths. I sold a boatload of ornaments, and I sold a bunch of bows. I pulled out my um, easy bow maker and I think I, I made about 20 bows and I think I sold all but four and then I have an order for 15 so all right now I take it off of here to put the transfer paper on okay, so there. I'm gonna put this back on here to protect it Okay. Um, I put it. I put it on more so that it does cut all the way through. Because um, check your blade to make sure your blade is sharp. If your blade's not sharp, um, you can sharpen it. Get some tin foil. And um, this is transfer paper for those of you who don't know. Get some. Uh, tin foil and press your blade into it and that will help sharpen it but you can always change the setting there's a setting on it instead of default you can put it to more and um, it'll cut through a little better for you okay. and this is just this, um, I think I got it online. I forget where, what store I got it at. I think I might have even gotten it off of Amazon. All right, so. It's a new machine. Yeah, but try doing that, Sandra. Try um, setting it to more. Sometimes, maybe it's just not. Did you try calibrating it to make sure it was all calibrated? I mean, I've never had to do that with mine, but... And I'm just cutting off the excess. Okay. Turn this on. All right. Okay. Ten. Oh yeah, I saw these for ten. Yep. All right. Okay, so these are the Santa Camps. Now, you, I also get these um, from the Dollar Tree. These are those um, iPhone lenses or phone lenses, and I just take everything off except for this part. These were hard to find. All right, so let me get a red one. Yeah, I like this transfer paper. It's nice. And again, you want to make sure you clean off your ornament. Make sure it's dry.
Yeah, I think I got it off of Amazon. I'll check for you. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Okay, pull this off. Now, I do the slits after I pull it off because it just is easier than pulling this off of it. And again, I'm going to do slits on it because it just sits nicer. <clears throat> hey, Teresa. And because you're putting it, you know, on a rounded surface, it just doesn't always want to lay right. So the more slits you can do, the better it will lay for you. Okay, so we're going to do this. Okay, got that part on. Like I said, if you can do one letter at a time. Hey Maggie, how are you? And then just really rub it, make sure it stays on there. So then what I do is I take this Gorilla Glue. I'm doing well, Maggie, thank you. Okay. And then I put some on the ornament. And then stick it right on there. Hey, Gabby, how are you? And then you wanna let this sit probably 24 hours until it really cures well. So you don't want to be playing with that. Now we're going to do the Grinch, or the green mean mean man. I don't know if I can say Grinch or not. Uh, the, well, these aren't my ideas. I got them off Etsy. You know, I bought the stuff off of Etsy, but these are just the, um, I don't know, it's fun to do. Okay, so again, you want to clean the surface. Okay. Oh my goodness, I bet Marco Island was gorgeous. Okay, so with these, I did the little yellow eyes. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> I know, I love him. All right, so I sold five of these on Saturday. These are a really good seller. Hey, Barbara. Okay, so again, now this is what I do for the eyes. I just think it's easy to do this way rather than trying to line them up and all that kind of fun stuff. So what I do with the eyes is I take them, and I don't even, I don't know why I put transfer paper on because I don't use it. So what I do is I kind of peel it off of here and make sure the sticky side is face up. I just lay it over where it's supposed to go. Because if you were trying to line this up, all to, it would drive you crazy. So I just peel it off and put it where it's supposed to go. All right. And then I do all my slits. Be careful you don't cut the design. Hey, Janet. Ah, okay, there we go. All right, and then, like I said, kind of cut in between the designs. Because the more you can give the paper room to move around, the nicer it's going to lay on the round ornament. Oh, I love my Cricut. Oh, my word. I didn't think I would, but let me tell you, I use this all the time. <coughs> okay, and then, all right, okay, 
Oh, let me get my glue gun. Oops. Hold on. So I need to fire up the glue gun for this one. Okay, so put that on there. Yeah, I did um, a couple of those. I wanted to print those out and I forgot. Oh, I forgot. All right, so put this on. I know, right? That's what I say. I can't believe like I ever did live without it because I use it all of the time. I should have moved this one down a little bit, but that's okay. Put them up too high, but that's all right. Okay, and then you want to really. I did really well. Hey, Eileen. Eileen came to visit me at the craft show. It's nice to meet you. All right. 600 apple pies. Whoa! Yeah, see, I, put, I should have put this one down a little further. I put them up too high, but that's okay. Alright, so, then what I do for him is I took, this is a piece of a boa that I took and I cut it. I measured the size of the ornament. Yeah, I should have moved him way down. I'll keep this one. So then what I do is I cut this piece, oops, and it turned off on me, a little stinker. Now, I don't know what happened to um, I don't know, I'd say maybe 15 crafters, something like that, I don't know. Why does this keep turning off on me? I just changed the battery. And change the battery again. Okay. Oh, here's another one I made up on the woof top. Isn't that one cute? See that up on the woof top with the little paw? All right. Oh, sorry. Okay. I can't believe I can't find those noses. I probably threw them out. Because the snowmen turn out like that. And I had, I thought I had all the pieces. Oh, there they are. Okay. So while that's heating up, we'll do the snowmen. I knew I had it somewhere. All right, here we go. Okay, so again, you wanna make sure you clean your ornament from your fingertips. And there's a boy and a girl. Yeah, I must cut myself. Yeah, Eileen popped in on Friday night and we chatted for quite a while. It was nice. Alright, so we'll do the boy first. Close that so I don't cut myself. Alright. That nice and adhere there. Okay. What about AC Moore? What I miss about AC Moore? Uh oh. No, I didn't hear Pat. What's going on? Don't tell me they're going to close. No way! Are you kidding me? 
I hadn't heard that. Oh, my stars. You're kidding. All of the stores? Ugh. That's crazy. All the stores. Holy Toledo. No, I did not hear that. That's insane. Hey, Bev. Just want to rub it real good. But they're going to up... What? They're going to open up as Michael's? Well, Michael's just bought out Pacatan's, too. What, like a year or two ago. And I didn't think it was... A good thing, Pat Catan's was so much better before Michaels took over. That stinks. Oh, no. I don't like that. All right, and then I'm going to put the little nose on here. You're kidding. I did not hear that. Up to 40. There's Michaels everywhere. Why do we need more Michaels? Alright, so there's the little boy one. I can't believe that. I'm bummed out. Because, you know, they have different things. Oh, for Pete's sake. Michaels bought pack of tans, too. And like I said, that was not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Because Pat Catan's was so much better before that. You got to check for... AC Moore is... Um, it's like a Michael's, but it's a different craft store. And they have... You know, they have, of course they have different things than Michael's. Oh, I know. Right? I don't live near Pat Catan's, but... There was one in Pittsburgh. So whenever I went to Pittsburgh, I would go. And they were so much better before Michaels took them over. Once Pat, well, then they closed too, so it's not, they're not even open there anymore. I know, I really like AC more. That stinks. Did they say when they're going to close? Oh, I'm so bummed out. Alright, so then just, again, you want to make sure it really gets on there well. That is crazy. I did not hear that. Yep, I do too, May. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right, and here's her little nose. Yeah, I will have to go. I was just there today. All right, there you go. <clears throat> that would have been nice, huh? All right, so we have our little girl, our little boy. All right, so then what I do with... Um, yeah, there's like three of them right around me. Okay, so then what I do with this little, um, it's a piece of a boa, basically is what it is. I take and I put a bead of glue all the way around the top. And then I just take it and put it, whoops, put it right, I must glued that to the, Okay, and then you just want to hold it there for a minute, so make sure it stays on. I know she hasn't gone live yet, has she, Cindy? Alright, and then what I do is I'll take a big glob of glue right there and make sure that it closes good.
And you just want to hold it for a second so that glue sets. All right, and then there's the little green mean man. All right, and then what I do, we'll do another Santa cam too because I put, um, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with that one that has that's the um thing on it. So, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, you probably went to Hobby Lobby. Dollar. Yes, I know. Okay, so again, you want to clean that off good. And get that on there. <coughs> I know, I haven't, well, I haven't been to Sims since that trip, Cindy. I would love to come again, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Not for a while. No, I have not. I have not um, bought anything from there. Okay. Wow. You didn't like them? Oh, no. Yeah, I sold a bunch of these. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this down here. And then spread these out. Um, I got the stuff off of Etsy, the Santa cam I just did, but all the other things I got um, off of Etsy. I bought the SVGs because I'm, I don't know how to do that yet. I'm hoping to do that. They are cheaper out on the designs. Okay, so then what I do, obviously I'm not going to put that on until I do this. I'm going to, what do you, oh. so then I take a white piece for the Santa and I put that on top. Oops. Okay. It is a lot of fun to make. They really are. You just kind of want to make sure again that they it gets on there. And then I have um, other ones I make too, but oh, they have some things in design space. Yeah, they do have some things in design space. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Stephen. How are you? I did, um, oh, this one, I bought this one off of Etsy. You can't really see it, but it has, um, Christmas in heaven. What do they do? They come down to earth to spend it with you. So leave them a seat, just one empty chair. You may not see them, but they will be there. And then it's really cute. Like, look at the design. It has a little rocking chair put on it and then I put um, feathers like I put it in a glass ornament and I cut this out on the Cricut the first ones I did I didn't that's why this one has a line around it um, but now I've learned how to do it on Cricut so it's so much easier and then I do the one I don't have any up here with the picture on it 
for a loved one. All right, I'm gonna hit this with a little hot glue. Hey, Cecilia, how are you? Oh, I should have used that Gorilla Glue. Oh, well. <coughs> <coughs> this sets nice and quick. Yeah, and I made, um, like, baby's first Christmas ones with the blue and the pink. I don't have them up here. I put them all downstairs because people are picking them up. And then I put the names on them. I have some of those to do. I did sports ones. Um... All different ones. I know I love my cricket. I really do. Let's sit now. Okay, so this is some of the designs I have. Like I said, this isn't all of them. Um, but the Santa Cam, the little Grinch or Green Mean. Um, I got them, some of them I got at Michael's, some of them I bought um, from Doris, a wholesale place. So, um, Meowie Christmas, Dog Mom, and then the Gingerbread Girl and Boy. So, they are, they're a lot of fun to make. I really like making them. So, and then I... You want to put the pieces back on, but you want to make sure that the glitter is dry. Go ahead, throw some downstairs. But so that's some of my ornaments. Oh, and then the um, the hoop ones. The hoop ones I did. Um, this I got at the dollar store. Yep, it's one of the um, the lenses for the cameras. And then I did, you know, some of these, the different hoop ones, and then the black. So these are the different colors I did in the hoop ones. <gasps> you got a Cricut for your birthday. That's awesome. Have you used it? I love this thing. I use it all the time. I use it all the time. So these are just some of the things. Kathy, I loved those big hoop things you did, you taught for your class. That's a great idea. So, this is the um, 651, the permanent vinyl. Yep. All right, guys, so that's some of the ornaments. And then I have, like I said, I got to order for 15 bows, so I have to do that. Um... Yeah, I bought the these from the Dollar Tree, and um, and uh, I I bought a bunch of them when I found them because they were hard to find. Yeah, I have to make a bunch of bows, so that's next. Do you guys want to hang out with me while I make a couple bows? No, there's just a learning curve to it, just like everything else, Rita. And I, um, I taught some things in my private group, how to do it. I put a, together a whole presentation on it. So if you're interested, I have that in my private group. Yeah, I put together like a 17 or 18 page um, thing on it. So you do? All right, let me get the fabric. Or the ribbon fabric. Listen to me. All right, so let me put these back here. Now, like I said, some of these are glass. Some of them are plastic. I went to plastic because I do the uh, memorial ones in glass. Don't let me knock that down. Okay. All right. So, let's make a couple bows. Oh, really? 
Yeah, you have to be careful with that one. It does tend to do that. It will definitely do that. The camera lenses I got from the Dollar Tree. I know. I'm telling you, I love it. I'm addicted to it, Teresa. <laughs> That's the problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's make us some bows. Get it up a little bit. Okay. cushion. Okay, and then I need some pipe cleaners. All right, so this is the fabric she wants. Isn't it pretty? It's like a cream with a gold, kind of gold shimmer to it. And they didn't want a lot of glitter because the husband's like, I don't want glitter. Uh oh, you went away. Yeah, the husband's like, no glitter, no glitter. Oh, I know, I love this bow maker. I really do. All right. So she wanted long tails. So I'm going to do like 25 inch tails. Where in the store? I don't know what store you're talking about. Okay. All right. Can you guys see it? Do it to six. Yeah, I have to make 15 of these. Okay. Bring it over here. Yeah, I that was the first time I made bows like at a craft show. And I'm telling you, I sold bows like crazy. It was amazing. Oh, for the camera lenses, they were um by like where the cords and stuff are for your for the camera for your um like the charging cables and stuff like that okay Two, three. so I'm just doing four loops at six inches. And this, I'm not twisting because it's the both, it's the same on both sides. Otherwise, I would twist it. So I'm going to do four loops at six inches on each side. And then I'm going to do three loops at four inches on each side. Yeah, they were hard to find. I mean, I think a lot of people were using them, so you might have trouble finding them. Because I went to look to see if I could order them too, because I have like three dollar stores near me and no one had them for a while. And they weren't even, you couldn't even get them, couldn't even order them. Okay, there's two. Yeah, I took a bunch of ribbon. And this is another thing you guys can do at your craft shows. What I did was I made some, um, some burlap wreaths, some plain burlap wreaths, and then I said, um, you can pick your own ribbon and make a bow to go with, you know, I'll make a bow to go with it, and that went over really well. I sold a couple of those, 
and then just do like a little two inch loop for your center. Oh sure Karen, I'll show you the difference. So this is the four in one. No, oh, that was a terrible cut. So the four in one is just this board, right? And it has numbers on it. And you build your bow from the bottom up. And I'll show you the pro bow. All right, then you want to stick your thing in here. Pull it up. You don't want to pull it all the way off. Oh, I didn't even see those, Debbie. I didn't see the silver ones. Okay, and then pull that to the back. And don't forget your pipe cleaner in there. Okay, and you don't want to tighten it all the way until you have it the way you want it. And then fluff your bow. And she didn't want big bows because these are going on her banister. So. Oh, really? And once you have it the way you want it, everything in place. Isn't that pretty? Alright, there's bow number one. Done. Only 14 more to go. <laughs> okay. There you go. <coughs> um, it depends on the bow like and depending on the ribbon too like this is a 50 yard roll so I got it pretty good but um, I charge anywhere from five dollars for a real simple bow to ten dollars you know from you know ten to fifteen dollars for a bigger bow all right <laughs> so this is the pro bow okay so with this, it's totally different. So let me show you, oops. So I did six inch loops, right? So what you wanna do is, let's see here. We'll make the same bow on here. So if you see, from here to here, uh, maybe there, six inches, and then four inches right there, and then that one. Okay, so I'm going to do the same bow on here as I did on there. Now with this bow maker, you build from the top to the bottom. With this bow maker, you build from the bottom to the top. So, you want a piece of wire, okay, alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon, gather it together, and this makes this little button in the middle of your bow. Okay, so, and just twist it together. Wrap your wire around a couple times, all right? Then you have one wire up, one wire down. Okay, can you guys see that? All right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it around the center peg. Okay. 
you're going to put it around the center peg. And you're going to attach it to this center peg. So the top wire you're going to wrap around here. If you guys would please share this video, I would much appreciate it. And put that around the nail on the bottom and tuck that under. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do one loop on the center one. Okay, make sure that stays there. Gather it together. Twist. Put it around that one. <clears throat> so you're going to put your finger under there. Gather it together. Twist. Put it on there. Okay. Now we're going to do three loops on this peg. So we're going to keep using the same peg. Twist. And we're just going to loop it over. Twist. Okay, so that's two loops on this peg. Gather it together. Twist. And we're going to do the third loop on this one. <clears throat> Gather it together. Twist. And the third loop over here. Okay, so now we have one loop on the center peg, three loops on row two, or finger two. Now we're going to do five loops on finger five, okay? Gather it. Twist. Wrap it around. Twist. Gather it. Hey Deb, how are you? Twist. Okay, this is the second loop. Gather it. Twist. I'm going to do the third loop. Gather it together. And twist. Here's the fourth loop. No, one, two, the third loop over here. Hey, Terry. And remember, we're doing four loops here and three loops on the other one. Okay. And this is our fourth one. Now, to make, so now I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to pull this off of here. Make sure you have all of it off. Bring the needle, this one off of the one on the bottom. Get that one again. <coughs> okay, and then you're going to tie it off. Okay, now to make that tail we're going to, I don't have to, but I just kind of, um, it's habit, <laughs> it's habit. All right, I'm going to cut this off. Now to make the tail, I'm just taking a length of ribbon, okay, and I'm just going to attach it to this back here. Sure it doesn't come off. Ouch, ow, I just poked myself. All right, and then I'm going to pull it off. And you'll see it should look, should, exactly the same as the other one. So we're going to separate these out. Okay, pull these out. Now 
yeah it's really just whichever bow maker you kind of feel more comfortable with when I first started the only bow maker that I could use was the Provo I could not use the easy bow makers or the four-in-one or anything like that I just couldn't do it okay and then just take the edge there where the ribbon is folded for the tails okay and then I'll show you both bows and oh no problem Karen see and they look identical right I mean this one's probably fluffed out a little better but See, so you can make the same bow on any bow maker. There you go. Two bows down. 13 more to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's just whichever one works better for you. Like, I bought the Easy Bow Maker when I first started. I couldn't figure it out to save my life. So, um, I bought the Pro Bow and I just loved that. And then as I got more comfortable, you know, I made um, bows with all of them. So, yeah, so that's it. So see, they look the same. It's the same bow. You think any, you think either one looks different or better than the other one? So... You think the Probo worked out better? That's this one, yeah. Yeah, it's totally preference. Whichever one you like to work with better is all it is. Yep. You just kind of have to fluff them, but... Yep. Okay. And I will put a pipe cleaner around this one for her so it's easy for her to attach them to the rail oh you did <laughs> Pat, you're so funny that's right get that Costco ribbon for uh, practice yeah I think so yep yeah the, the uh, tails are underneath yep hey Barbara um yeah, you kind of have to be careful with that. <clears throat> hey, Barbara. Use a little thicker wire, Sarah. Like, I don't use the 26 gauge. I use 22 gauge. I like the 22 gauge a little better. So... Okay, two down. Yeah, I do like the the. Um, but you could always do that with the other one too. Streamers on the bottom. All right, let's make some more. I do like this one better. I'm going to use this one. So the center, center. I use this one and I use this one All right whoop, whoop. All right and if you don't know just you know that was six whoop, no, do it there yep that was four okay yeah I that's why I use the uh, 22 gauge Okay, so let's get our wire. What do I do with that? Okay. It was good, Deb. Thanks. Yeah, I did. I, it was one of my better shows, actually. It really was. It was pretty good. Okay, again, I'm just going to gather this together and wrap my wire around.
I'm using row, oops, yes, row B, row C. Sorry, put that one in the wrong one. Yeah, I'm using row C for this, and I'm using the center peg, um, finger number two and finger number five. And that's the um, length that I want. So. so again, you're just going to take your ribbon and wrap it around. Take the top wire and wrap it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I had it on row B instead of C. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. I know. I was like, what did I do there? And then put this one around the bottom. You're welcome. And then just wrap it. Which is the wire? I use the 22 gauge. Yeah, this is actually this one's a 24. Um, but I usually use, I think the colors don't come in the 22 gauge. Um, but I don't use the 26. I think the 26 is just too thin. I don't know. I don't like it. And I, I would break it too. So that's why I went to the 24 or the 22 even. Oh, well, I got that, I think, at AC Moore, the different colors. Around Christmas time, they have a lot of the colors. I found that one. They have the red one. Um, but you usually only see it. You don't ever see silver? Because I see silver a lot. Yeah, but AC Moore usually has the different colors at Christmas. I can't believe AC Michaels is buying out AC Moore. That bums me out. Okay, so there's the three on the first one. So then we're going to do the four on this one. Make this last bow. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? Again, I just gather, twist. And like I said, you don't have to twist if it's the same on both sides. It's just kind of habit, you know. I'm used to doing it that way, so. So we're doing three around this peg, finger two, and then four around finger five. And it doesn't matter like how they lay here because you're going to pull them out to separate them anyway. So you don't really have to worry about that. I Hey Ruby, how are you? And this is one, two, three. This is number four. take the wire off again when you do your wire you want to make sure that you have it off of the peg completely and I did not so good thing I did that you want to you know put your finger down there and always double check because it happens very easily Nice and tight, and then get your tail. Okay, Johnny. All right. And then just tie that one off. And then you can cut it.
Um, for this bow, I only used one. Yes, correct. All right, get my zip tie. Tie that one on there. Yeah, but you can use two. Um, if you're using a lot of um, ribbon, I'll use... I'll use the two. All right, and then the easiest way to get it off of there is just pop that right off. And then you can spread it out. I should get my thing out, but what I'll do is I will make all the bows and then I'll fluff them off. It's easier when you have it on the fluff box because you can really, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, you can really pull them and get them where you want them. Another one. I'm going to cut the tails. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, guys. That is it for me. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check me out on YouTube on Thursday night. And we will see you Thursday. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Bye.